Hey guys, uh, it's Tony, MacMan.com again. Um, do a quick little tensioner video here. Um, going over all this other stuff. This is the, um, this is a B8302 400B um, billet black, kind of a bread and butter. This one's the one we sell the most of, 370s, 400s. Basically any, any alternator for this vehicle that's 320 amps or above uh, will have the same uh, 1.75 inch pulley. Um, it's a little bit smaller than stock. Um, that's why we do on racing applications. Uh, we do recommend, uh, say, your part number 8206250. Uh, the 250 uses a uh, factory size steel pulley. It uh, holds up well in off road racing, uh, dirty environments, and whatnot. And uh, it, it, it does great with that pulley combination. Uh, but with these, your 320s up. Uh, that's where you start really getting into the um, the the higher amperage, you know, your 200 plus idle, 200 plus amps at idle. So we need that pulley to really wring what we can out of these things. So uh, with that said, smaller pulley means you have to have the smaller belt. So this freaks everyone out. Uh, I'm not really sure why uh, belts are belts. Um, they have a part number on them. They have a measurement on them. It's, uh, it's really easy. We got a link on the website, you know, all that good stuff. So, um, what I'll talk about first is, um, I, I don't have my stock belt, uh, or I don't have the tool to change my belt real quick, but it's seriously, it's a 15 millimeter bolt, ratchet, it falls off. But what I'll show you is I've got this painter's tape down here that when I did all this, I just left it on. It's not hurting anything. Um, you can see I've got one side of this nub. One side is labeled tight and one side is labeled loose. This little spot here in the middle that does not have the tape, that's where my factory uh, belt was. When I had the factory alternator, uh, factory belt, that's where this nub was. It was moved down eh, about half an inch or so. Uh, so I marked it as such uh, to where I'd know that. So when I put this new one on, I put the factory belt back on, and just like all of you state, yes, it fits. The factory belt will fit, and it will work, as long as you don't put a load on the alternator. Um, if When you start loading this thing down, pulling 200, 300, 400 amps, that's when it's going to slip. Just because you see it idling, and it's... Uh, you know it's turning and it oh it's 14 8 14 6. well yeah it's easy to turn something that doesn't demand anything so when that stock belt loses grip that's when your voltage will start dropping and that's what i get calls on so um, on these we state you need to use a shorter belt uh, just read the directions as always it states in there tells you how to do everything but when i put the stock belt back on this came up and actually touched the limit so it was just resting on this right here it had no movement um, very very bad you're not getting what you need out of it um, if you can grab your belt and it doesn't move you know that's bad because that's what it needs to do to put that tension on it so if you have one that's too tight it's going to be down on this side um, all the way and there's a stop there as well so what you want to try to do is get it as close to factory as possible um, I tried the next smallest belt and I couldn't really I couldn't get it over the pulley I mean I probably could if I used a ratchet strap but if that's the case then that's the that's the wrong belt anyway um, this one here is the one that we recommend it's half inch shorter I think it's a 93 inch belt and the factory is 93 and a half on this year model so right now you can see it's not where the factory was but there is a good gap right there before it bottoms out and you saw me pulling on it so it's it's got plenty of movement it's fine there um, some i know are extremely hard to get to some belts are hard to find but uh you know it's, it's, it's the name of the game it's you know you can't uh, just like a speaker box you you have to have the you have to have the space to run 412s you can't just Put four 12s in there and hope it works in you know one cube or something like that so it's kind of the same philosophy here so just a quick thing on our little uh 
tensioner set up there. Uh, if you have any questions on that, um, just look at the website. We have that documented there. We have links to help you, frequently asked questions. And of course, my email, uh, Tony at MacMan.com. And other than that, um, we'll find something else to talk about. Um, may get into the 12 volt switch source next. So uh, that again, freaks people out. Probably one of the easier things to find. So again, thanks for watching and uh, name's Tony. Thanks.